Okay, hi all, welcome to Rate My Gadget. Um, so this device is the Minix uh, TV box. So um, it's the Minix Neo X5. Um, just to kind of give you a bit of a description of what it is, it's basically uh, like an Android phone. The difference being is that you can uh, plug it in uh, to your television or to a computer monitor via HDMI which therefore means and because it's got an infrared signal on it as well you can control it by a remote control so I use it as a TV box <clears throat> so like um, Android um, it's very open you can use it with BBC iPlayer, Channel 4 OD you can also use it with an external hard drive um, now I would give you all the specs I'll put them in the comments on the video rather than putting them uh, describe them all here Starting with the um, plus points of the Minix, sitting on your um, on your TV uh, unit or your or your computer desktop is pretty small. It's it's really discreet. It's uh, it hasn't got any kind of um, horrible ghastly colours. The only light on it is a little blue LED light. The um, other thing that I really like about this is the connections on the back. So you've got uh, basic power, Ethernet two USBs on the back and you also have a USB on the side as well which is really nice for access um, you've then got an optical output um, a HDMI coming out the back of it as well and then you've got your headphone microphone going in um, so it's got it's got a, a good uh, number of connections um, that actually work really well so uh, I've had on it before three USB drives working at the same time um, and they seem to work quite well. Um, so that's the plus of uh, the, the box. I should also say that <clears throat> um, in another video of mine I'll show you how I've set it up very simply as a TV box. So rather than having, and that's maybe one of the downsides of this, is when you first set it up the remote control you get is very basic and it acts like a touchscreen phone. Um, whereas you can download a few apps to make it really, really user friendly with a simple kind of Harmony remote or the remote you get with it. Okay, so that's all the good things. Um, I'll show the bad things actually um, in use at my telly. Okay, so to the poor side of things, the first thing which is the most frustrating thing so is the optical cable. So the optical cable which goes into the optical lead here is very difficult. You can't actually, there's no click. You, when you put it in, all the other co connections are fine. The HDMI, you know, once you put the HDMI in, it's not going anywhere. But with the optical connection, it's just loose, which means that if ever gets knocked, it'll come out, you lose sound, which is really frustrating. The other thing as well, and I've never managed to do it, is with the optical, I've never managed to get 5.1 surround sound connection, um, which may be my firmware or fault of mine, but I've no never managed to get 5.1, and 5.1 definitely works for me on my Blu-ray. Um, <clears throat> um, the other disadvantage is this um, controller that you get with it. Now this is the controller for the Minix box. You can get others. You can get the app as well on your Android phone. Um, but if I just show you the kind of basic problem. So this is my home screen. If I then go to say YouTube for example and I want to open up YouTube and then I want to look at some videos you'll see that the functionality of the controller is very, very limited. It won't let me um, go to the selection bar, for example, up here to choose question mark. And if it's, that's not just the only example, if I then go to, um, say, Google search, <coughs> if I go to Google search and I then click on, I can control the keypad, but it's very, very, very slow. Um, and it's very, very weak in terms of the overall functionality. I mean, looking at it here, all you get is an up, down, left, right, OK button, a return button, um, and a home button, and a few others, which is power off, which I never, never use, um, <clears throat> and volume up and down, which again, I never use because I have an amp, and a menu button, which I've never seen any kind of functionality. So even if I just hit back and then back again, you can quickly see that the functionality of these apps is meant for a touch screen so this is limited um, however plus side and this brings me on to the next um, positive is you can get an app on your android phone so the app on your android phone allows you to fully control 
what you're doing. And again, if I then open up YouTube, <coughs> I can then search for whatever I want. So, you know, whatever. Um, but I can also type that in onto the thing, onto the phone. So it's really good from that way in that that's completely functional and you can also change the settings so that you could have it <coughs> in different modes so you can have it in game mode as well um, so which is quite nice which means it can work with various different apps <coughs> on your phone um, so I think with the Minix box from the review um, really really good piece of kit if you're like me in which you just want one central station which you can rely upon you want to plug all your films in and you want to just have it working then it's really good um, the biggest plus as I was saying is Mizu um, really really good app um, in which it just lets you once you point it at the library where you've got all your films stored and you've appropriately named them then it will it will put all of this on there for you so it will give you the ratings it will give you descriptions of films really like that <clears throat> for years i've been struggling with having a system that works and is slick for plugging um, a hard drive in for your films western digital can do it others can do it but this is really really slick really really good and it plays every type of film type uh, video type so uh, you won't find yourself frustrated that you have to copy it into a certain format so overall i give the minix box a nine but please check out other videos for um, reviews on the remote and how you can make it slicker